Hey, so today's fast thought is just me and Kenny. So sometimes there's more of us. Sometimes there's no, there's never less of us. It's just, no, there's never less. More. <laughs> but um, we are, um, we're, we're, we're celebrating a little bit. We're not really big ceremonial guys, but it's kind of cool. We are about to drop our 30, 300, 300. 300. Um, our 300th um, episode. And that comes out. Um, well, probably about the same time that this yeah. fast thought will hit as well. But uh, um, and then what's what's kind of cool about so so one is yay yay for us. Um, Three hundred is a big number, buddy. That's that's not bad yeah, considering yeah, 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 we didn't yeah. think anybody was listening to us for yeah the longest yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah so, I mean that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. Three hundred episodes. Um, and then what's kind of cool is the three hundredth episode is with Ken. Um, and Ken is kind of like, um, not me, not this Ken, the other Ken, um, Ken Anderson, and he has been around a long time. He's retired now, but we kind of talk through all of the, um, you know, kind of, you know, the winding road that retail has taken to get to where right it is right now. If you think of like all the things that Kenny and I've talked about that we've talked to guests about, about um what's going on in the industry listing fees to why we're so angry or why we're upset you know what what makes it so hard to deal with retailers and the retail landscape that we have now this episode with ken actually does a really good job of uh, with ken and ken um does a really good job of kind of like layering out all so it gives you the time frame from from his perspective because he was in a lot of these big companies that not between them and the retailers sort of started this path but the path wasn't paved. It, it's like every road the road to hell is paved with great intentions is really the sort of way it worked out where you know the vendor community and i don't think in the retailer community weren't looking to do any damage it just sort of ended up being one thing after and after another 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 just sort of led to where we are today and, and the difficultness and why you're trying to find what was that what do mm -hmm. they call it the code of con retail code mm -hmm. of conduct or some mm -hmm. bullshit what yeah. you're trying the to grocery do code of conduct or whatever it's a code yeah, of conduct like that. Whatever. neither kenny or i are good at names so we i'm sure we screwed it up somewhere yeah, but who cares? Code of conduct whatever it's called sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. So we'll all sit yeah. down and do sing kumbaya and et cetera. <laughs> right? But it, I, I do think it, it was really cool to kind of um, stitch together some of those parts. Oh, it was awesome. Was and the timing couldn't so. be better. 300th mm -hmm. episode. What a cool mm -hmm. episode. Yeah. And when people listen to it too, because I know people, you know, I know a lot of our friends say, God, you guys are so aggressive with it. And we're aggressive because we're passionate. But the podcast, if you listen to it, it's not, it's not really even aggressive. Nobody cares. Like, there's no hate on for these people or the companies but it does give you a perspective on you know why we are where we're at and why and a lot of reasons why where prices are where they're at or why there's this huge fight in the country between suppliers and the retailers and all this shit. this this stems from what we talk about in this actual podcast yeah. and i i think though that the other thing is if you you know, we see this, you know, we've kind of done big and we've done small and, and Kenny and I love, you know, kind of being with small brands or small, yeah, medium yeah. brands and small retailers, but the gap is just so big, right? It's like the, the, you know, when, when we say, you know, every, you talk to anyone who does costing and they tell you, you need five times what your, your costs are to manufacture the product before you can go to retail. And so, this is, you know, a lot of these things is part of that, right? Is like this whole retailer piece, it adds to that tap, right? And so you you can't get to market where, you know, in the old days, maybe you would be able to get to market with a little bit less. You, you can't, right? Um, and I think in today's climate, it makes it even more difficult, right? So I just think, you know, that's why Kenny and I are so vocal about this I, as well is because, it's hard to it's hard for little brands to make money and then it's getting harder not it's just easier. getting harder phil yeah. it's just getting harder i mean i don't know if you want to you can keep this in or take this out it's up to you when you when when you decide to uh post it's all this. in it's all in kenny we're all in so yesterday we had an example that you know we were getting excited 
that potentially we could change our terms from net 60 or net 90 that if we pay a little extra we could get 245 and then i got home last night so i thought so we're actually excited about getting paid 15 to four to 45 days earlier which is which is super exciting if you're a brand and it only cost me two percent to get my money a little quicker yeah. you're you're slicing wow i thought that's really yeah. good so yeah. i'm gonna pay extra to be paid earlier earlier not reasonable 45 days is a long time to float a multinational yeah yeah and the one i'm talking about is a multinational yeah humongo size i'm thinking wow that's pretty impressive that even i've gotten excited about a 245. interesting you know so and and like um we're leaving that in by the way but I, I think that the other part, so the multi, the multinational part is one part of it. And I, well, I, I like 245 is, net 60. Okay. Yeah. But even worse, really, yeah, it got worse. Right. So, but, but look, it got worse and you're still happy about it. Right. Like, it's, and I think this is what we're talking 90. about, right. But this is what we're talking about. Right. Is, mm -hmm. and the, the code of conduct is not going to cover gonna fix that. You know, it's, it's not going to cover these things at all. Ooh. Right. Like we, we're not looking because, you know, we're not looking, right? Like, we, you know, the folks that are building these things are not looking, right? So no. I think that's why we get so passionate about it. Yeah, um, anyway, I just thought it was it was one of those ones that it'll yeah. tie you well into what we talk about with Ken as well. Yeah. Unbelievable, yeah. like just unbelievable. Anyway, 300th episode, we're excited. Ken yeah, Anderson, cool, um, if you get a chance to go listen to that one, because um, it's a special, so it's, it's on Thursday. Uh, it'll drop Thursday night. So normally when we do a Thursday, it's either something special or it's a retailer. Um, it's usually when we drop Thursday nights and then right. all our, our brand ones are Monday. So um, go listen to that one. Um, and then. Um, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. You know, yeah. if you do, let yeah. us know. If you don't, let us know. Yeah. Or if you think yeah. we're full of shit, then tell us that too. It's all good in the hood. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Man. Thanks, guys.